friends, so I have a yard sale haul and this is going to be from the video that I uploaded the other day of just kind of like a follow me around. I only videotaped while I was at one yard sale and it was a community yard sale and I go every year. It's at like a gated community where you um, kind of have to like be visiting and stuff in order to get in and so they don't want like all these strange, you know, vehicles being in the community. So what they do is they just take, um, they have like a strip of grass, like right before you get into their community. And then they just like all have tables and they set up there. So that's basically where I filmed um, everything that I did film for my follow me around. And I'm going to try to do it more often, however, it's just so obvious that I'm videotaping because I use my phone and um, I'm still kind of like, I don't know, I, I guess shy because, you know, I don't want people to just be thinking like, what the hell is this girl doing videotaping my stuff, you know what I mean? So, I'm trying to get over that, like uncomfortableness so I'm gonna try to do more of that because I thought it's kind of fun not only to show you guys like what I'm seeing while I'm out but it's kind of fun like watching or seeing what you guys would pick up like of the stuff that you know I was videotaping so you might see some appearances being made of some things that I did uh, pick up but um yeah, so if you guys like that video and you want me to try to do more of them, just let me know. I'm going to try to. Um, it was just kind of a little easy for me to do that um, since it was like a community and, you know, everything was like right there. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to get on with what I got. And some of this stuff is from that community and some of the stuff is just from like random other yard sales that I went to on Saturday. So I wanted to upload this video on Saturday, but I am horrible with um, remembering to charge my batteries in my camera, so I couldn't do it until today. So anyway, I hope you guys, um, you know, weren't too upset that I didn't upload a video like right after I did the, uh, the follow me around. But anyway, I got, I'm going to start out with this because it's one of the bigger things that I got. Uh, I got this lamp. And it just has this like glass uh, top here and it's on this base. And this was just one lamp. It didn't come in a set or anything like that. And I was just like randomly talking to my dad saying, oh, that's a, that's a nice lamp, yada, yada, yada. I wasn't really going to buy it or anything because I wasn't sure where I would put it because I don't really have a place for it that I could think of off the top of my head in my home and it was two dollars so you know I walked away to the next table my dad comes up to me and he's holding the lamp and I and he's like oh I bought you that lamp and I'm like oh my gosh okay you know like now I'm gonna have to figure out a place to to put it so I'm I'm still not sure where I'm putting it yet but something that kind of upset me was there is a big crack in it on the back and I did not notice that, you know, he didn't notice it either. So it's kind of shitty that they, you know, didn't say something before we bought it unless they really didn't know. Um, so next time I'm at Hobby Lobby, I'm going to see if they sell this top part here, um, you know, just by itself. Because I would actually prefer if this were a darker color than this white here. But, I mean, if I do use it, hopefully you won't be able to see the crack and I can put this part, like, back towards, like, a wall or something. But anyway, my dad got that for me and he paid $2 for it. And I actually had someone ask in one of my other videos, like, you know, my parents buy do buy me things at yard sales and do I buy them stuff at yard sales? And I do. Um, anytime I'm, me and my mom get, um, you know, separated from each other or whatnot... I'll pick up stuff for her, she'll pick up stuff for me, and I'm always picking up stuff for my dad too. My dad is probably about just as obsessed with cologne as I am obsessed with like perfume and stuff. Like he has so much cologne, it's ridiculous, but I'm always buying him more whenever I'm at yard sales. So that's why I don't typically ever like show men's cologne because I either give it to my dad or, you know, my boyfriend. 
But um, I did just get my dad some men's cologne samples at a yard sale this past Saturday. It was like Versace and some stuff from like um, Aeropostale. So I got him those. So to answer that question, I do buy stuff for my parents as well. Okay, so I'm going to get into the rest of the stuff. Um, I found, and this was a pretty awesome find, I found another vintage coach purse. And this one's just black. It looks like this. has a little coach hang tag. Um, this was actually, I purchased this in um, the development that's like right beside mine. And I asked the man, like the man and the lady were both there. I didn't notice the lady though, so I went up to the man, I asked him how much he wanted for um, the purses, and he said 25 cents. So I got this for a quarter, which is a really awesome deal. So I don't know if his wife was a little angry with him afterwards that he gave it to me for a quarter, but I got it for 25 cents. <laughs> so I got that. I found these flats, and I thought these were really cute. They're by the brand Rampage. They're just brown flats with like little gold studs and a buckle. And then they also have like studs on the um, backs. And I paid a dollar for these. And they look brand new. They don't look like they were like ever worn. So I got those. These are a size 7. I typically wear like a 6, 6.5. So I don't know. I'm hoping these fit. If they don't, then... Um, I'm probably going to sell them, but I just thought they were so adorable that I had to try. So I got them for a dollar. And I also found another pair of shoes at a different yard sale. And these were actually from the community that is across the street from me instead of beside me. So there was like two communities right by me. So I found these, and these are just little Jessica Simpson black like patent flats. And... Again, these look new. They don't look like they were ever worn. And they're also a size 7, so again, I need to try them on and see how they fit. But um, these weren't priced, and one of my peeves, one of my big peeves, and it's not just a peeve of mine. I was actually, me and another girl at it, um, the one yard sale that I was at, um, we were both kind of complaining to each other about how people don't price things and we're, we don't like negotiating with people, you know, it's like, if you don't like a price that someone has, then, you know, I'm the type of person, if I don't like the price, like, I'm just going to walk away. So, and half the time I'm just going to walk away even if you don't have a price because I'm kind of scared to ask because people, you know, a lot of people want a lot of money for their stuff, especially if it's not priced because it's you know, whatever. Anyway, it's just a peeve of mine. So I was a little scared to ask, but I did ask about these just out of sheer curiosity because I thought they were really cute. And the lady said she'd give them to me for 50 cents. So I was like, holy shit, 50 cents for a cute pair of flats. And so yeah, I got them for 50 cents, which is a great deal. Um, I found this top and a lot of times I'm not in the mood to look at clothes at yard sales. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's very time consuming and a lot of times people just have stuff like thrown on a table and you just have to like dig through it all and I'm just not always in the mood to, to look at clothes. So, but I did find this and it's just a basic plain long sleeved like coral collared shirt and it's just by Old Navy. I paid a dollar for it and I just liked it because it was just like a basic long sleeve t-shirt and I like to wear this kind of stuff to work. Just something comfortable. So I got that. Um, I got this scarf and it's just like a blue and white kind of like blotty floral print. I don't know how you want to describe it. But I paid a dollar for this, and the one lady, she was selling, like, a ton of really cute scarves, and I only bought one, and this was at that community that I was at, and the community, I should say, the, the gated community, um, the one that I was videotaping, so me and my mom always go around twice, we go around once to look at everything, and then we go around a second time just to make sure, like, we didn't miss anything, and sometimes people aren't all set up the very first time we go around, so... When I went around again, 
like someone bought up all of her scarves so I only got this one which is fine because I really like it but I was kind of surprised that they went so fast um, it's just by a brand called Bindia I don't really know where that's from originally but I paid a dollar for that so that's really cute for come fall um, I found and <laughs> this little Victoria's Secret dog and I did get this when I was digging around in that box um she had all of like when I asked her how much like the stuff in the box was she said um pretty much like 50 cents for all of the little things and a dollar for like the um beanie babies and like the toy type um plushes I guess you'd say so I paid a dollar for this and I collect these so I was like whatever you know I don't mind and it's just blue with white stars and it just says vote pink on a little button on its tush so I got him and in that same box I did end up picking up two of the little uh, miniature perfumes um, I sell vintage perfumes I didn't really know anything about these two so one is called Tasha, which is the name of my dog, and it's by Avon, and the other one's called Le Effleur, and it's by Cody. So I don't really know anything about them too much, but I have other vintage miniature perfumes, so I might just put them in like a little lot and sell them. So I think these were 50 cents a piece. So I got those. Oh, I found this um, hand cream by... Time and again, I've never heard of it before. I paid a quarter for it. It's in the scent Frosted Citrus and Vanilla. It smells really good. It's new and yeah, I paid 25 cents for it. So it smells really good. Really, really good. And the same yard sale where I got that hand cream, I also found this Victoria's Secret Pink. Um, perfume samples and they were in this little uh, packaging. I paid 50 cents for them and it comes with three different um, perfume vials. So it has Hope Pink, Wish Pink, and Live Pink. So I got those. And also at that same sale where I got those, I got this perfume and it's just called Anais Anais Anise, Anise. Um, I paid a dollar for this. I sell perfumes on eBay, so and I know I, I sold something of this scent before. Um, I don't know if it was a soap or a body powder or something like that, but I think it did really well. I don't know if this perfume will do the same, but I got it anyway. It is new for a dollar. Might as well try. And then also at that same sale, I got this um, body shop, and it's a face and body brush, a uh, makeup brush. And it does look like it was used, so I need to clean it, but I mean, let's face it, guys, I dig in dumpsters, so I have no problem having to clean this brush and using it. It's no big deal to me. It is super soft. It's from the body shop, and I think I paid 50 cents for it or a quarter. I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember, but... It is so soft. I cannot get over how freaking soft that is. So I got that. Uh, I found this Burt's Bees Raspberry Lip Gloss. It came in a little box. I paid 50 cents for this. And I have Burt's Bees Lip Balms, but I only have them in like the chapstick form. And this one's actually in like a cute little glass jar. So I thought that was cute for 50 cents. My mom picked me up this little keychain. It's just like a gunmetal heart with rhinestones. I think she paid 50 cents for it. I got my dog a toy. It's this little duck. I think I paid 50 cents for it. It has a squeaky in it. Um, this is actually a baby toy. I tend to, when I see baby toys, I'll just like press on all of them to try to find ones with squeakers because these are the perfect size for my dog. Um, 
And, you know, baby toys are safe for babies, then they're pretty much, I'd say, safe for um, my dog. So, she's already been playing with it. I think I'm going to take off this little strap thing, though, because she was trying to tug on it with her teeth a little bit, and I don't want it to come off into her mouth. So, got her that, though. She really likes that. Um, I found, and you noticed this probably on um, the video, were these bling nail stickers, and I paid 50 cents for these. These were 50 cents a piece, but I only got one of them. So, because I don't know, like, I like the nail stickers, but some of them work okay and, and last a little while, and some of them, like, I can hardly get to stick at all. So I wasn't sure about this brand or how well that they'd work, so I only bought one of them. And like I said, I paid 50 cents for it, but the, the bullshit thing about it is that they had a quarter on it, but they put a 50 cent sticker over top of it. Now, if they would have kept this at a quarter, I would have bought more. But since they were 50 cents, I didn't really want to, you know, buy them and then them not work real well. So, I only got the one. So, that was a little shady of them, but whatever. They could have got more, well, from me anyway, because I would have bought all of them if they were all a quarter. But I only bought the one since it was 50 cents. Um, I got this perfume. This is a Lancome. Aromatonic Energizing Body Treatment Fragrance. And this price tag says $3, but I only paid $2. My mom, she has more balls than me, asked if um, she'd take $2 for it, and she did. So, I only paid $2 for it instead of 3 And I'm selling this. So, I got that. Um, I got this Ulta Beauty Smoothie. This is a 3-in-1, like the Philosophy 3-in-1s. This is in Apple Envy. It can be used as a shower gel, bubble bath, shampoo. And I paid $0.25 cents for this. And the girl that I bought this off of, she had a lot of nice things. She had a Juicy Couture Jewelry Box for $5, but it was made out of that velour material, which gets so dirty so quickly. Um, and it already kind of looked dirty, so I wasn't really interested in it. But she also had like a Kate Spade makeup bag, um, a Marc Jacobs makeup bag. But they're like the ones that you get with like the fragrances. You know, you buy a fragrance, you get a makeup bag. Um, I didn't get any of those. I was going to get the Marc Jacobs one, but I didn't. I think she had $3 on it. Um, she had a, um, some L makeup brushes for $3, which I didn't get those either. And, like, a lot of makeup and stuff like that. She had a lot of nice things. But I got this for $0.25. Cents. This was new. And I actually found an Ulta Beauty Smoothie um, little set in one of my last yard sale hauls for $0.25 cents as well. And I'm planning on putting this with one of the other fragrances and putting it on eBay. Um, so I got that for a quarter. And then also from her, I got this which was an insanely great deal in my opinion. This is the Fresh Sugar Treasures Mini Lip Collection. And this, I paid $3 for. It is brand new. Um, and this came out during Christmas, the holidays, I think, just this past year at Sephora, and it retailed for $50. So I got that for 3 bucks, which is amazing. And it comes with all of these um, fresh sugar lip balms, and I think it was last year or the year before, Sephora gave out two of these for, like, the Beauty Insider's, um, birthday gift, so I already actually have two of them, but this comes with all of them, it comes with the Petal, the Honey, Passion, Berry, Rose, Cherry, and then it comes with a Sugar Shine lip treatment in the center. So I was super excited for that, so I got that from her as well as the Ulta Beauty Smoothie. Um, this you guys probably seen too, I was at a table and this lady always has um, beauty products every year. Her prices are always kind of high in my opinion as far as yard sales go because I don't know, I guess I'm cheap. <laughs> but. So I only got one thing from her, and it was the Philosophy White Cherry 
three in one. And I paid a dollar for this, and it is still sealed at the top. So she had other stuff too. She had a lot of, um, you know, good things, but she wanted a dollar a piece for her Path and Body Works pocket backs. And I mean, I think you can get those in the store for a dollar. So I didn't really feel like I was getting a deal there. And, you know, some of the stuff was used and she still wanted, you know, like $2 for some of the things. And I just, I don't know, I just can't bring myself to pay it sometimes when I can go to another yard, to another table or another yard sale and find something similar or even better for less. So, you know, I don't pick up everything good that I see because, you know, I just be, I mean, I already have, like, the reason that I have, I think, so much stuff, like, you know, so many nail polish, so many perfumes, so many this, so many that, is because I yard sale. Like, I couldn't go to the store and pay retail price for all that stuff and own everything that I do. Like, this is just, it's insane how cheap I get some things, hence, like, why, you know, I accumulate, you know, a pretty big collection of things. I definitely, like, don't buy absolutely everything that I see because I just, I don't typically, like, I don't even necessarily have room for it, especially my nail polish. Like, my nail polish collection is just getting out of control. It's ridiculous. But when you're going to yard sales and you're buying, like, nail polish for 10 cents a piece, like, it's just so easy for a collection to, like, spiral out of control. So I try not to buy absolutely everything that, you know, I see that I like. So, I just buy things that I either really like, um, and I want to have, or I just buy things specifically to sell them. So I don't, I don't keep everything that I buy. Like, I would have no room for everything if I kept everything that I bought. So, I'm just gonna keep going because I'm rambling now. But I also found this coach purse, and I saw a lot of coach purses while I was out. Um, the one the one lady was selling hers for $30 a piece, which is a really good deal. However, I have enough purses as it is, and, you know, none of them really, like, spoke to me that I wanted to, like, own personally, and I don't really want to sell something that already costs that much. I mean, sure, I could get more for it, I'm sure, but I still just, I don't like paying that kind of money um, for something at a yard sale, unless it's something that I absolutely, in dire, desperate, want mode, like I have to have it. But, anyway, I was at another yard sale, and I found this coach bag, and this, I believe, is like, newer. Um, typically, when I do see coaches, they are either newer and cost a lot or um, older styles and I think this one is kind of newer it looks like and I'm not like up to date with the new coach purses I was into them like a long time ago and I kind of just phased out of you know being into them I mean I still like them don't get me wrong but it's just not something that I was obsessed with as I was at one point but I saw this one and I thought it was cute. I liked the color. Um, back when I was younger, I loved, um, you know, the short handle purses like this. But as I'm getting older, I prefer the long handles. And the reason that I was keen on this one is because it actually did come with the longer strap. And this is brand new. The lady never used it. Um, and it still had the... It still has, like, the, the card, the care card and everything inside of it. And I paid $10 for this, which I think is a really good deal for this bag, especially since it's new. So I got this for $10. And she also had another one, like an older style with like the mini signature print. Um, I think it's called like the Soho or something like that. And she wanted $5 for it. And I was going to buy it specifically to sell, but I didn't because I still have some other coaches that I want to sell. So... I didn't buy it, but it was a good deal for five dollars. Um, let's see. I also got this Victoria's Secret makeup bag, and this is the Fashion Show 2013. Looks like this. This is brand new. It was never used, 
and the lady didn't realize that there was stuff inside of it, but um, we I did let her know when I was checking out, um, just, you know, it's rude not to say anything, like if you do see things inside of, of um, you know, bags and stuff that, you know, maybe they didn't look in before they, they put it out for the yard sale, especially if it would have like some sort of personal um, belongings in. But anyway, this did have other stuff in it, and I let her know, and she said that, um, she asked if I wanted, you know, all of it, or just, you know, certain pieces out of it, and I said, you know, I want the whole bag. So she let me have the whole bag for a dollar, which is an amazing deal, because not only was it this really pretty Victoria's Secret makeup bag that's brand new, but inside was also a brand new Victoria's Secret makeup brush set. So it's just like a matching little, um makeup brushes that are also new so I thought that was a really great deal for a dollar and then there were also two necklaces inside as well and I'll show you guys what they look like this first one is just like a black beaded with a lobster clasp I don't know like who who oh this this is Liz Claiborne it's stamped LC so that was in there. And then also this one. And I don't know who this one's made by because there's no markings on it. But it's just really long and you can, you know, double strand it. So it looks like that. So that was cute too. So I got that entire bag for a dollar, which I still like can't get over because it's just so awesome. Which is another reason why I didn't buy like the L makeup brushes that I seen because I had just gotten those, plus that body shop one, so that was enough makeup brushes for the day. And then just for fun, and this was like for pure enjoyment for me, um, I was just waiting on, my dad was talking to someone that he ran into, my dad's retired, then he ran into someone that he used to work with who was asking, you know, how he was doing since he was retired, yada yada yada. So I was just like randomly looking at a box that was in front of me, and I found this little duck. And he's a hand puppet, you can stick your hand in his back and the great thing about this he quacks so I was having an absolute blast with this thing like the rest of the day it kept me entertained beyond belief so this was a quarter for my entertainment um, so I, I don't really plan on keeping him but I'll probably just either give him to one of the kids in the family and let them annoy their parents <laughs> or I don't know I'll put it out at my yard sale that I'm gonna have but I just had to get him he quacks old McDonald <laughs> so I hope you guys like my video and I will see you next time